My name is Pamela. I'm living in Spain. I've been there for about four years. I have two different aspects in the ministry. One is with the church, building up and equipping the church, and the other is outside. In the church, I am helping with the youth group and Sunday school. I also help with uh, worship. Part of being in the youth group is to get to know some of these girls and do discipleship and mentoring. Outside the church, I volunteer at an NGO, a Christian organization, that is a food bank. Part of my job there is being in the office and checking the information, talking to them, knowing how they're doing, <laughs> and it has been a great way to make contact with some of the women. I also volunteer at a community center, teaching Spanish to immigrants, most of them from North Africa with a Muslim background. These classes are very informal, they take their kids, so the kids are running around in the classroom. I, I enjoy playing with the kids while I'm teaching. That has been also a great testimony for the moms to see that I, you know, I can invest time in their kids and I value their kids. I started learning Arabic. It is very hard, but when I tell these women that I'm learning, it is very surprising for them. There are many creative ways to make contact. During class, we would just start talking about different things. So we could talk about the prophets and make a bridge and, and say how their book mentions people that we have in our book. We never know what encounters we might have and what opportunities we might have. Sometimes we can share the gospel openly and other times it's just through our actions and through showing our love. Zaragoza is a city of about 700,000 people. Give or take, there are about 30,000 immigrants with a Muslim background. I could probably count in my hand how many Christians are reaching out to them. So the need is great. This is a small city compared to other ones. So if you just think of Europe, many cities like mine, who is reaching out to these immigrants it would probably be more difficult to reach out to them in their own countries. But being in Europe, we have the freedom that we can share the gospel with them and be alive to them. So that, who knows, they come to Christ and they can go back to their own country and be alive themselves. How can you get involved? How can you help? I would say discouragement and loneliness is common in missionaries. So sending them an email, telling them you're praying for them is always encouraging. and. Just go and look at the CMML handbook and look at the missionaries that are in Europe. Ask them what they're doing and how you can pray for them. Pray for the believers, pray for the missionaries, pray for the immigrants that are coming to Europe. Thank you so much for praying and for partnering in the work that God is doing around the world.